Hi and welcome to another MSM tutorial. So our goal today is to mesh this structure into ANSA. So to begin with, this structure was uh, in a solid representation in Kachari 5 and using the software MSM from Digital Product Simulation, uh, we have been able to create all the medial surfaces that we, you can see here in the tree, in the Kachari 5 tree, uh, associated with all the thicknesses to the properties, in fact. And what we want to do is to export this geometry into ENSA, but we don't want to lose all the thicknesses information. So, to begin with, what we can do is to click on the button XML export, and we will choose a folder for the export. So, for example, we will choose here, this place, so this folder, export to XML, and during the export, we can see that all the surfaces are generated as IGS files, plus an XML file that contains all the information about thickness, and the links with the name of the files here. To be able to uh, use that, this XML file plus all the geometry files, we have developed a Python script for ANSA. And once opening ANSA with an empty file, we will open that Python script and play the main function of it. And you will see how it works. So I will load the main the main module, which is in ANSA script. It's a Python file now, available in ANSA, v14. This, this script inter is interesting to me. I open it, and then I will run a function of this script, which is the main function. And you see, all the geometry files have been loaded. Okay, if we just watch for the PID, means the property, we can see that PIDs are different. In fact, there are 12 properties that have been created with the right thicknesses coming from mid-surface measure, MSM, thanks to the XML file. Go back to this view, and so we can see we have red lines, so single single boundary, but to mesh correctly this uh, shell structure, we have to to project some curves. So I will work just a little bit on it to be able to mesh to finish uh, this tutorial. So we'll select all the curves and I will project on all the faces all the projections have been realized I will merge all the corresponding curves very close and now I will just remove the curves that have been added uh, but we don't want them I uncut the model and now it's okay. We don't have any red uh, boundary except on the free edges, so everything is okay. So we can go to the mesh module. We can, for example, try to, to mesh like free mesh. We show all the details. So as we can see the mesh Okay, but for example, if we want to simplify the holes, we don't want to consider the, all the holes for the mesh, so I will just erase what we have done. We have several ways to do that, but one of the best way in ANSA, if you have a lot of uh, parts to mesh, is to create 
a batch measure and in the batch measure I read a scenario that I've created before in advance and I apply this uh, scenario of meshing to all my parts that follow the same rules. So this is really interesting. I will base myself on the PIDs. I will select all of them. I go here. Okay. Uh, in the mesh parameters, I have told that I don't want to consider the holes smaller than a diameter of 30 mm. So this is the case of these holes that's, that are smaller, so they will be ignored normally. So I run now my scenario. Okay, and so the mesh has been completed, completed successfully. And we can show with the PIDs to see the PIDs are different. And we also can visualize the thickness. And that is a good picture of the thicknesses. So this concludes the presentation of the uh, external export from a job done in MSM to an XML file plus geometry files associated. And with the development uh, here realized with a script Python that uh, ANSA is able to read, we have been able to import and to keep all the thicknesses computed by MSM. This concludes this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching.